Hey, what's up, Amelia here. Let's see what's making news. The world has just hit a not so great milestone, clocking up more than 16 million global cases of COVID-19. Charlotte takes a look at what's happening around the world and which countries are being hit the hardest. Let's start with the United States, a place with more recorded infections than any other country. They've had more than 4 million cases and 140,000 deaths from the virus. While restrictions have started easing in some states, new cases have continued to rise, and President Donald Trump says things are likely to get worse here before they get better. The country in second place is Brazil, with more than 2 million total cases. Their president, Jair Bolsonaro, actually caught COVID-19 and says he's only just recovered from it. Some experts say a lot of Brazilians don't have enough access to health services and think there could actually be more cases here than have been reported. The third biggest global hotspot is India, with 1.4 million cases, more than a third of those coming in just the past two weeks. Some countries like Spain, Japan and Vietnam are bracing for a second wave, while others like South Africa are experiencing a massive surge in cases for the first time. But it's not all bad news. A lot of places around the world are starting to get back to normal, with restrictions easing across most of Europe and pro sports making a comeback in lots of countries. Here in Australia, it's been mixed news. While many of the states are seeing very few new cases, Victoria is still struggling. And while we still have a long way to go to beat the virus, experts say everyone can continue to help by social distancing, washing our hands and wearing a mask. Taylor Swift's surprise album is officially a record breaker. Usually big stars spend weeks promoting their albums to drum up hype, but T-Swift has proven that apparently she doesn't need to bother with any of that. Folklore racked up a whopping 80 million album streams on Spotify in just the first day. It's the highest ever for a female artist, smashing the old record of 70 million for Ariana Grande's Thank You Next. You probably know that dogs can be trained to be sniffer dogs and guide dogs, but did you know they can also be trained to help people with diabetes? Ella checks out a new program by an Aussie charity training young pups for a very special job. This is Cody, an English Springer Spaniel with a keen sense of smell. He's also this program's first ever diabetic alert dog trainee. You might be wondering, how can a dog help someone with diabetes? When a diabetic person experiences hypoglycemia, which happens when they have low blood sugar, they can become dizzy and pass out. That can be dangerous if it happens while they're sleeping or alone. And that's where these pups come in. They can actually be trained to recognise the smell of someone's saliva when they've got low blood sugar. When they sense their owner needs a bit of a sugar boost, they'll touch them with their paw or make some noise to alert people. Savvy smelling skills aren't the only tricks these pups will learn. They'll be trained to retrieve emergency bits of food, a phone call for help, or even go and find help themselves from someone in the house. It'll take Cody and his future classmates two years of intense training and plenty of treats before they're ready for the big time. They say there's no place like home, and that's what this next segment is all about. How far would you go to find your way home? Well, this very homesick camel in Mongolia decided to sneak away from her new owner and trek 100 kilometres to reunite with her old friend, Tima. Now that she's home safe, Tima says she's a part of the family and he's never letting her go. Aww. Meet Glee, Turkey's famous cat. She's been known to hang around with presents and has her very own Instagram. For the past 13 years, Glee's been a volunteer security guard at one of Turkey's most iconic spots, Hagia Sophia. But recently, the building was changed from a museum to a mosque and people were worried she'd get kicked out. So they started an online campaign. And now the government has given the all clear and says Glee will get to stay in her very fancy home. And finally, what happens when an uninvited guest tries to take over your home? Get out of here! Aussie Twitch streamer Lynchy was midway through a match when a magpie crashed through his window. After a bit of a scuffle, the magpie realised this probably wasn't the best place to set up its new nest and left a pretty shaken Lynchy to finish the rest of the match. Well, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there so you never miss out on seeing an episode of BTN Newsbreak. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.